Hi, my name is Marissa Park. I'm a registered dental hygienist and birth ambassador. Today, I'm going to talk about mouthwash. <sighs> Bad breath. What people think is that you need mouthwash and more mouthwash to get rid of it. Studies have estimated that 80 to 95% of bad breath comes from the buildup of food, bacteria, fungi, and dead cells at the back of the tongue. To clean that, the best product is a tongue scraper. Here. If you continue to have bad breath, we might have a bigger problem in the GI tract with yeast or bacteria growth. You don't use antibiotics every day, so why would you switch for antiseptic mouthwash every day? Antiseptic mouthwash, it destroys oral bacteria that are essential for insulin signaling and keeping your blood pressure healthy. It's due to the fact that we rely on oral bacteria to both create nitrite from our food as well as recycle the nitric oxide we synthesize from breathing in. Nitric oxide is a gas and signaling molecule that is essential for healthy blood flow, blood pressure, insulin signaling, and more. Mouthwash has been shown to block the antihypertensive effects of exercise when you're using it post-workout. So this is shocking because since we know that exercise is actually as effective at reducing high blood pressure, so when you use uh, mouthwash occasionally for medical reasons, it is okay, but don't use it frequently and especially not after exercise. Healthy diet, flossing, brushing, and maybe tongue scraping should be all that you need. And everyone is different, so this is not a medical advice. Antiseptic mouthwash destroys oral bacteria that are essential for insulin signaling and keeping your blood pressure healthy. Don't use it, or at least do so infrequently. So when using mouthwash daily, they damage the oral microbiome, and you want the good and bad bacteria. Most mouthwash contain alcohol as one of the first ingredients, which dries out the mouth and causes a whole host of issues with both dental and overall health. Teeth needs to be bathed in saliva in order to remineralize. Your saliva is the first defense. When your teeth is dry, no saliva is in your mouth, your enamel on your teeth can't protect itself against demineralization. That can lead to cavities. So think about what you already know about your gut health. Those friendly bacteria that are necessary for a healthy gut, um, if you kill all of them, it affects your whole body, including your mood and mental health. So imagine the effect of an antibacterial mouthwash on your oral microbiome that kills everything and which is the headquarters to your gut so you don't have those good guys anymore and that minty flavor don't let it fool you it may smell great but they don't address the root cause of bad breath use a tongue scraper or work with your dental professional that burn is due to ingredients that irritate the gums teeth and tongue the sensitive tissues inside your mouth the oral mucosa is very delicate so when tissues are irritated by the mouthwash and pH changes, it can start to slough off. This is a sensitive environment that does not need to be disinfected. Burning and drying out these tissues can also worsen bad breath, cause mouth ulcers, and causes imbalances in pH levels. Trying to disinfect the mouth is the wrong approach. We want to nourish, not disinfect all the bacteria in the mouth. Not all bacteria are bad. So I recommend not using mouthwash daily or switch to a safe one with no alcohol or safer ingredients. When I work with a new patient, mouthwash is one of the first things I like to address since it can have a lot of bad effects despite a patient doing everything else correctly. And you know, mouthwash stains your teeth too. So what does alcohol do? Well, it suppresses saliva production. Saliva production is essential for keeping a healthy balance of good and bad bacteria in our mouths. However, mouthwash with alcohol, when used over a long period or too frequently, it decreases your saliva production. This causes dry mouth and slowly strips away your mucus shield. This also compromises the natural buffering capacity of your mouth to fight off harsh chemicals like acid and sugar from the food that we eat and liquids. It also causes imbalance in our healthy oral bacteria in our mouth, which may result to a number of unwanted complications. It is saliva that creates a buffer between the acids and the sugar in what you eat, drink, and your teeth. Thus, so when you don't make enough saliva, it increases the vulnerability of your teeth to acid damage, causing them to soften and become more susceptible to decay and increases the buildup of bacterial plaque over time. When your mucus shield is down, you may develop uncomfortable dry mouth or burning mouth syndrome. This will cause your teeth to stain more easily from colored liquids like red wine, soda, 
coffee, or tea drinking. It also causes root exposure, which will make your teeth more sensitive to cold water or air. Aside from alcohol, studies also show that commercially available mouthwashes have low pH level or they are highly acidic with acid levels that are almost the same as your household vinegar. This compounds the harmful effect of the alcohol in your mouthwash by making, it, making your erosion in your enamel worse. Enamel loss increases too sensitive to hot or cold, which is also already an effect of the alcohol in your mouthwash. So when it's, it is not advisable to use a mouthwash before you brush, as the enamel of your teeth may be more prone to damage by the vigorous brushing. What you can do the next time you plan to grab a mouthwash, read the label first. Avoid the ones that contain alcohol and those with a low pH level. Better yet, switch to an alcohol-free mouthwash that's also alkaline. If it's an immediate fresh breath you want, grab a sugar-free gum with xylitol. It works just like a mouthwash without the damaging effects to your teeth. To stay up to date with our latest videos and cool dental tips, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.